videos so we are doing a product show and then i will be talking about something so our topic is dan Ariely's book predictably irrational and he talked about free so a lot of people love hearing oh you'll get this for free and he says it's because we love having a win we love having a bonus occur in our life and we are scared of losing. So when someone says this is free, we'll hop on it, right? And he uses one example from Amazon and he uses an example from buying like an extra book and from stores saying, oh, well, we'll add this for free if you do X, Y, Z. For example, free shipping was the Amazon thing. And Amazon was gonna give people free shipping because, oh, you spent over $30. And now that encourages people to spend more. And then in France, they did, okay, you'll get free shipping. Actually, you won't get free shipping. You'll get one franc, one euro shipping. And nobody hopped on it because it was like, this is just one euro. And so Amazon did, okay, France, you'll get free shipping. And everyone in France was like, okay, now I'm going to start doing free shipping, right? Okay, not everybody, but you know, the people who be using Amazon, da da do. And my opinion of that is, whoa, the allure of free wasn't always human. Like we say that this is intrinsically human and this is inside of us and everybody reacts this way to hearing free. And I don't believe it because, as you know, in the book Affluence Without Abundance, when way back when in history, when in the, let's say, our type of world, our type of society met the hunter-gatherer societies, which are the societies that didn't have a market, they didn't have stores, they didn't have money in the way that we do, we would try to barter and trade with them and those people did not care. They would look at it and they did not care. And the only way to get them to care was by forcing them into slavery and forcing them to work and start holding things against their heads. Like when they talk in the book, he talked about when the Bushmen were working for the white farmers right because the farmers came over from germany dutch whatever trying to build new lands you know all of that because their own land was getting drained of its own resources they needed to find somewhere new we see this a lot happening in our society today where people are trying to move to these big cities like this is going to be the best world this is going to be the best trending thing you're going to make so much money if you go to London. You're going to make so much money if you go to Los Angeles, California, Miami, Florida. That's where everything's popping at. New York City, whatever. So people were rushing. And basically, when the Bushmen people were having a low season, so if there was a drought where there was no food type thing, they would start working on the farms for white people. And then when they started having their food, they would start not working. They'd be like, okay, well, I got what I needed and now I'm done. Now I'm just gonna drop off and start living back in the woods because I don't need y'all. What am I saying with that? Point is, a lot of people, they aren't afraid, afraid of losing anything unless they're taught and grown up with this mindset of scarcity and that they don't have anything. And if you know, hey, I already got all I need and I know how to get it and I don't have a lot of needs that need to be met. That was another thing in that book, Affluence Without Abundance. Because they're just like, hey, I can sit on the ground i don't need a big fancy house um, my kids can grow up very well doing what we do which is living off the land and that's how every single person started off from like the europeans the japanese the asians the middle east which is also asia latinos whatever type of community people can think of 
everyone pretty much started off as a hunter-gatherer society where you just people lived off of the land you know they hunted for food they gathered vegetables for food like if something was bad they went through it but they didn't assign too much of a meaning to it they always took care of their children right if you want to know more about this look up research by darcy and narvez but what am i saying so my point is with this concept of free is that a lot of people i think in our culture are just raised to be very scarcity mindset like oh everything is going to be taken away from me so if something's free i have to hop on it but if you have parents who never raised you to think of the world as a loss and like you're always a loser losing because if you look at the language that most american people are taught most french people are taught western civilization Europeans, civilization, our world, it's all pretty negative. And that's when you get people who are super happy to receive anything for free because we don't have that high of a self-esteem anyway. We already get told that we make losses and that the world is on fire and burning. So as soon as we see something free, we're gonna assign it more value. But I don't think that's intrinsically in us as humans to just think, oh, something's free, let me hop on it. I don't think so. I just think it's taught to us through our conditioning and the world we live in. Because our relationship with the world around us is that we have to work very hard just to get anything. Oh, I can't have this. It don't grow on trees. Oh, I can't choose a life for myself because my parents were already teaching me that I can't do shit. I ain't going to be shit or whatever. Anyway, everyone just has a struggle story. If you look at American society, if you look at French society everywhere, that's like has this structure of capitalism and it's bad. And I just think that's why people love free so much. Because it's like, why are you guys so afraid of losing of your losses? Because there's never a loss. Like, we are all winning. We're all winners. Like, what the fuck? And just the more I think about what we have and the more I see how, like, our society is failing people and how people... They be waking up not even wanting to go to work. They wake up with horrible, bad attitudes. And I'm just like, you guys really think this shit is working? Like, people are hopping at the notion of free just because they're scared of losing. Like, we shouldn't have a society of people afraid of losing. And then we have people who are afraid of, like, looking stupid and bad. So they start buying more things to make them feel better and feel like, oh, I'm a rich girl now. I'm a rich guy now. I have this coolest car, whatever. That's not normal. That's not in us unless you were raised saying that you don't have anything, unless you were raised to feel like you're ugly. And if there are people who were literally raised to be confident in themselves. Okay, y'all, like, it's not just crazy to think somebody's happy to be themselves and not really buying things based off of the fear of losing. It's because odds are you guys were fucking abused. And that's not to be bad. That's not to be mean because I know that I know how our world works. Like, I know that odds are the person who abused you didn't need to do it. It was your parents and they were just being taught like I don't really have hatred for them unless I'm like really angry but I'm not in a mood where I'm angry right now so that's all I have to say and um, yeah so the concept of free I just don't think that things are like people have to jump on free and be afraid of missing out on nothing like y'all So, yeah, now when you see the word free, you don't have to, like, jump on it unless you actually want that free bonus.